Fidelis, in today's video, we need to do an investigative video here in Zero Gravity in PKXD, bro. What about it, bro? Here's the deal, Fidelis. Everybody's asking about the airship, the Zeppelin up there, but we can't reach it. Yeah, it's close, it's blocked. But what if I told you there is a way to get there and investigate it? Seriously? How do we do that? I will teach you in a second. But before that, I'd like to ask you guys to like the video and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell button so you won't lose any new video from the Three Creators channel. Anyways, Fidelis, why did you got up here? Can you see this sort of ham in front of us? Yeah, I do. My theory, Fidelis, is that as zero gravity goes by and teams start making points, this ramp transforms and forms and takes shapes until it gets to the airship, you see? Ah, uh, I do, it is makes At sense. At the end of the event, everybody can get to the airship. However, we are going to do it today, with our method, alright? Uh, well go there before the end of zero gravity. Exactly. Before everybody gets asses. That's something everybody can do. Because everybody received it through the official Instagram from PKXD account, the astronaut armor code, right? Right. So, using the astronaut armor, we'll get there. I even think Afterverse made it on purpose, sending these codes before zero gravity, so there would be a way to jump really, really high to this new win mechanics we have inside the game. Uh, so we gotta dress the astronaut armor on? Exactly. Put yours on because I'm already dressing mine. I just need my backpack. Um, and here it is. All set. I am wearing an armor that everybody who claimed the codes received it for free. Everybody from PKXD already has it. So you should have it too, guys. You ready, Fidelis? I'm dressing it on, almost finishing. Perfect! The only way getting up there is wearing the astronaut armor and also using the wind vortex that arrived in PKXD. So jump in the wind vortex, but when you use the astronaut armor, your jump goes way higher! Whoa! Yeah, you went too high up! Can you see it, Fidelis? My gosh! Yeah, it's so high! It goes practically twice as high as the tower! It's too much! Did it work? Yeah, that's crazy! That's it, guys! Pretty simple! You could even play fine from one wind vortex to the water! That's amazing! It inside here also has another wind vortex, Kira! I did it! I flew over here! Oh, you already arrived at the airship! So fast! <laughs> I'm on my way then! Look, use the vortex and when you get very high you keep on walking straight until you get to the airship! Look how cool Fidel is! Yeah! That's right! And here bro, we have a really close vision from the Zeppelin! Can you see four spots over there? I do, I can't understand why only 4 spots. Well, I wouldn't ask why only 4 spots, but why so many spots? That's because I have a theory about what's going to happen here, Fidelis. Uh, what's your theory? Uh, wait a second, I just feel I am coming up again. <laughs> Alright, no problem. While you came up, I explained to them. Here's the deal, guys. Here in our stickers album, in the event sections, we have a sticker that hasn't been unlocked yet which leave us a very interesting thing which is the sticker called Hooray for Zero Gravity. It's writing, Triggered the Zeppelin at the end of Zero Gravity 2022, it means the Zeppelin will be unlocked at the end of the event, that's a fact. But you know what else I think? What? 
I think the Zeppelin will be unlocked for the Event Champion team. That is, the team that gets more points first will unlock it. So the whole team can travel in the Zeppelin, each one in a seat. Wow, so votes must win already. We gotta win, Kira, cause I want to unlock the Zeppelin. Me too, Fidelis. I was walking by and I realized we are so high up that it looked like we are not even around the Zeppelin. But we actually are, right? Yeah, but I ended up passing too much. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I just fell too. But that's no problem, because using the astronaut armor, we can get up there anytime. Now, Fidelis, what do you think about this whole theory? Same as you, I think whoever wins will grant sex to Zeppelin first, cause there are two ramps, one for Team Flammy and another for Team Votes, which means that Team Votes wins first, we get to go first. Exactly. Later on when the order the teams get the points, they should also be able to fly in the Zeppelin, right? That's right. I just don't, don't understand why there's a vortex inside. Here it is uh, gonna take us. Oh, I believe this vortex inside, Fidelis. It's made for getting inside the Zeppelin. Because theoretically, we won't be using the armor. So how would we get to the seats up there? Uh, well said. So I think this vortex is a way to get to the Zeppelin, sit, and start to fly. I see now, makes sense. Exactly! So guys, now I wanna know what your theory about the Zeppelin. Also, this high jump bug can be used to play with your friends through the vortex. I don't really think it's a bug. I guess it's the armor power. Since it has the zero gravity, it goes higher when it's boosted. Right, Fidelis? That's right, man. It's pretty cool. Great. So, if you enjoyed the video, like the video, don't forget to subscribe and turn the bell on. Plus, say goodbye to them, Fidelis. Bye, guys. Don't forget to always keep up with the adventures of Kira, Noira, and Fidelis on Tree Creators channel, alright? That's all, then. Thanks, guys. See you next time.